I recently got the opportunity of a lifetime to go down to Fort Knox, Kentucky to ask some of the highest ranking officials in the Army for some advice. What's the best advice you've ever been given in the Army? For somebody considering joining the military. Some of them have even been in the Army longer than you guys have been alive. So I've been in the Army for 35 years and 8 months. Served for 28 years. 21 years. And I'm not going to lie, as the only 21-year-old corporal in the room, it was pretty daunting. Right, I don't have as much time as the recruiters probably do. <laughs> was nervous. My nerves are kind of an edge, making sure that I'm following customs and courtesies at all times, you know what I'm saying? Making sure I'm representing. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm in the background. But with the help of Staff Sergeant Bernardo, aka Erica Bernie on YouTube, I got to ask some things not many people get the opportunity to ask. And of course, I have to bring you guys with me. Good morning, everybody. I'm Corporal Bally, and I'm here with Sergeant McNeil. Command Sergeant Major Todd Sims. Command Sergeant Major Shade Monday. Sergeant McNeil, how long have you been in the Army? I've been in the Army six years now. Okay. And then where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. I am from Panama City, Florida. What advice do you have for somebody who's considering to join the Army? My best advice I could give somebody who want to join the Army is before you walk into your recruiter office, have a plan. Understand what you want your future to be. Pick the MOS that you want and, uh, and remember that you're going to have great drill sergeants. You're going to have great leaders that are going to prepare you to do what you have to do. So many great opportunities in the military, but the basic for a young, young soldier coming in, right place, right time, right uniform, and right attitude. We'll always, we'll always carry you along. Because the next 20 years ahead of you is going to be a challenging one. And uh, always give your best effort. That's the best you could do. Hold your head down, give your best effort. and be. Hey, what's some misconception do you think that the Army has? I think a, a big misconception that people get about the military based off of uh, my experiences is... We're not people. We're normal people, and we do everything that everyone does out there each and every day. People assume we turn into these robots that just do as we told, and we're not people or have a different sort of hobbies or energies outside the army so I think the best thing people could learn about the army is that we still have lives outside our uniform and we still uh, uh, still are people too with personalities who care about each other so. folks think that uh, you know if they come in the army if something bad is going to happen to their son or daughter or they're not going to be taken care of and another big misconception is like they think everybody's going to come in and have to go to behavior health or, or, or stuff like that, which is, you know, if the folks need it, we're going to get in that help, but it's absolutely not true. What's the best advice you've ever been given in the Army? Uh, the best advice I've ever been given in the Army was from uh, my first son in Ireland here. Uh, he told, uh, told me one time that the best thing you could do is just hold your head down and get the job done, and no one could complain when the job is done. So he just showed me to just wake up and work. Be there and do the best you can no matter what mission you have. And what's the biggest takeaway that you've learned in the Army so far? I think the biggest takeaway that I've learned since being in the Army, it's, it's all about the person to your left and right. And we, we're all a family and we take care of each other. What's up, guys? I'm Corporal Badley and I'm here with... Sergeant Kim. Command Sergeant Major Campos. Command Sergeant Major Adam Brady. Sergeant Kim, how long have you been in the Army for? Um, I hit 10 years in September. I've been in the Army for 23 years. And what do you do in the Army, and where are you from? I'm currently the Command Sergeant Major of the United States Army Parachute Team, stationed out of Fort Bragg. And where are you from? I'm originally from Michigan. I was born in the Dominican Republic and moved to Brooklyn, New York at the age of five. My MOS is a 79 Romeo, and I used to be a 19-kilo tanker. So I'm a Human Resources NCO, but I currently am the Executive Admin for Sergeant Major Hendricks, the TRADOC CSM. Um, Currently, I am the Command Sergeant Major for the United States in San Antonio Recruiting Battalion, uh, the number one battalion in USREC. Um, we, what I do is I lead, I motivate um, individual soldiers to get after, give opportunities to young Americans join our Army. I am from Winsburg, Virginia. Okay, okay. And Sergeant Kim, what's one piece of advice that you've given or that you've received in the Army that's helped you out throughout your career? The best piece of advice that I've received, uh, I got when I was younger, it was no matter what position you're assigned to, always put forth your best because you never know who's watching and how that position potentially can advance you for your future. Just keep going, right? Because there's going to be days where you're tired, you want to give up, but you got to understand, like, yeah, we're a team, but it's also a competition. Like, if I'm slacking and my peer is pushing on, then I'm two steps behind. So even the days you're tired, just keep pushing on and it'll get you far at the end. You might not see it then, but later on you'll definitely see it. The number one thing that has helped me is to be uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable means growth. And then, so for somebody watching this who's considering joining the military, what's some advice you have for them? The Army, 
I can only speak on the Army, but the Army offers so much. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think a lot of, like, this generation know because it's, it's a little different, but the Army offers a lot, like school. Um, they offer you a roof over your head. Yeah. They offer you food. It might not be the best, but it's food, mm -hmm. right? Fuel, yeah. right? Fuel in the body. Um, and um, I think it could actually, like, better someone mm -hmm. uh, because there's leaders that could help, like, if you're not really good at being responsible, I think the Army can teach that or anything that like someone is lacking, you definitely could gain that from being in the military. Be all in. Uh, there's poten many potential opportunities in the Army. Your only limit is yourself. So I would go after everything that you want and the Army can give you opportunities to get after anything. Just have a goal in mind of what you want to reach and who you want to become for you to accomplish your goals. And lastly, what's, what do you think is one misconception that people may have about the military? A lot of people think, like, I joined and I'm going to war, mm -hmm. right, war, and that they don't want to die. But I would say, like, this might sound bad, but when it's your time, it's your time. You mm -hmm. could die crossing the street. You could die eating your last you, you don't know when it's your time. So mm -hmm. don't think that you're going to join the Army and the first thing they're going to do is ship you off to an award. Uh, I think a big misconception is that we're only combat arms. Uh, we are not. We have a multitude of uh, MOSs that support across the Army. Uh, and I think a big one currently is for females coming into the military. They think that they're restricted to certain things and they're not. Uh, everything is open to everybody, and I uh, fully encourage them to take advantage of that. They cannot do what a soldier does for one reason or the other. That is not true. You could do whatever you want to do. And then last question, we had a special request from a viewer. Um, how would you describe your drill sergeant um, experience? Would you say you were a mean drill sergeant or were you a nice drill sergeant? Um, I like to use the term fair. And if any of my privates see this, they know that I was very fair. <laughs> um, I can get mean, but they probably made me upset and they know why. But uh, I want to say nice because as a drill sergeant, I mean, being nice is I, don't, I, don't, I couldn't see myself now, but I was very fair. Let, let's you. leave it at that. I was very fair. What's up, guys? I'm Corporal Bally, and I'm here with... Staff Sergeant Bernardo. Sergeant First Class Nathaniel Reyes. Sergeant Bernardo, what is your MOS, or what do you do in the Army, and why did you join the Army? Um, I'm a 74 Delta, but right now I'm pre-doc sergeant majors, PAO. Um, the reason why I joined the Army is to get out of the traditional way of things at home, um, and everyone was doing the same thing, going to the same job, and I wanted to do something different. So I saw someone in uniform, and I was like... That, that's my calling. Well, being from Brooklyn, New York, uh, I was born and raised in the projects. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to change my paradigm and change the narrative. Uh, a lot of times uh, we're, we're viewed as people that are not going to make it out the project. So I wanted to just change the mindset. I'm currently the uh, first sergeant for the Brooklyn South Army Recruiting Company. Joined the Army um, to follow in the footsteps of my grandparents. I'm third generation military. And how long have you been in the Army so far? And where are you from? Uh, next month will be 10 years, and I'm from LA, California. Uh, 16 years. Okay. And so throughout those 16 years, like, what's one piece of advice that you've learned throughout your career that's kind of stuck with you and helped you out? Um, the thing I learned from the Army when I was a young age was to look two ranks above your own. So right now I'm in E6. I should be reaching for that E8 instead of being like, all right, time to get E7 because by the time I'm in E7, I'm going to be slacking on being E8. So even when you're a private, think about, okay, it's time to get PFC, sergeant, and all that. Uh, one of those advices is to, um, to be successful. Uh, you influence yourself, but when you're significant, you influence others. So just uh, be significant and influence others. And for somebody watching this, considering to join the military, what advice would you give them? I would say just do it. If you really are thinking about it, even just a little bit, just go join. Um, there are going to be people that doubt you, so don't listen to them. Just know it's going to be a shock for a little bit, and once you join and get through it, you're going to go back and be like, look, I did it, and it was worth it. Even if that's just three years of your life, then going back to your civilian life, that's okay, but it might be the thing for you in the long run. Uh, always put your best foot forward and go, go for your goal, meet your goal, and success is uh, upon you. And last question, what do you think is a common misconception that people have about the military? We're not able to go to school, that we're robots, but that's not true. I'm currently uh, in my uh, last year of my dis uh, doing my defense dissertation uh, for my doctor's degree. Females shouldn't be in the army or that we're not strong enough, but I've been through multiple things in my life where, like, let's say combatives, where I would have to fight 
a male and I can hold my own against them or beat them. So even if I can be small and all that or you're a little female, just know that you're able to do it regardless. Throughout my entire trip, it was cool seeing E7s and E8s getting after that PT and just being able to talk to them like normal, regular people. It was nice to learn what they learned over their career. And so I hope you guys found a lot of value out of this video. If you're a veteran watching this and you got some advice, put it down in the comments below. And if you're a new recruit thinking about joining the military, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I'm not trying to force you guys to join the military. I'm not trying to persuade you guys to join the military. This is just purely me sharing my experience in the military with you guys. But if you guys want to talk to some people or myself included, join the Discord. Link will be in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, like the video, and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.